This is the Filipino community in the United States in Miami. This city is known for its Latin community, Caribbean. But did you know there's a small pocket of Filipinos here? I've been to Manila. It was amazing. I had Balu. And you know what? I can't fly there today, but we're here at Lutong, Pinoy. And we're going to experience this place. Can't wait. First time here. Look at the flag. The Philippines everywhere. We got fried chips. Let's go. Marju, right? Yes, yes, Marju. Nice Pleasure. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Very, very nice. And your dad's Darren? Yes, this is my dad, Darren. He's the Darren. owner of the restaurant. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Guys. This is the king of the Filipino community here, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is. A little bit. <laughs> so what are we doing in the back? So we have a lot. I'm, I prepared uh, like a lot of things so we can introduce Filipino cuisine in a, in a good way. You know, this is my favorite part of uh, visiting restaurants, the <laughs> kitchen, man. Yeah. Oh, wow, you already started. So, yeah, so I, no, I prepared it. Oh, wow, wow. So I, we have two ways of kare kare. Just beef, and this is like a, a special thing. It's crispy pata kare kare. Kare kare? Kare kare too, but it's crispy pata. So this is me, so meat with vegetables, you have eggplant? This one is going to be deep fried. Oh wow! Yeah, deep fried on the side, then you well you eat it. It's like you dig and 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 put some sauce and everything like vegetables. Got so it. This one is the traditional. It's all mixed up, then you just eat it. This Perfect. This is our barbecue, Filipino barbecue. We'll cook it too. Mm -hmm. this, we we prep it. We have the um the pancit, which is pancit. The noodles. Pancit. That's pancit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the whole thing is pancet. This is one. This yeah, one dish. It, yeah. What I see is that it's very vibrant. Lots of vegetables in your cuisine. It is. Yeah. It's all mixed up. It's it's healthy food too. Mm -hmm. They thought it's all all pork, but we we actually have like a lot of vegetables also. So this is sisig. So we use pork. Okay. In the sisig, but you can order fish or uh, chicken so, or tofu. But what is sisig? Because I, I guess sisig, I've seen two different versions. The traditional sisig is actually the snout and the ears and liver. Oh my god. That's the original. Wild. Uh -huh. yeah. The so ears. That's what, that's what I offer in Kanto, in, in, in my other restaurant. So okay. this is the lumpia. Mm -hmm. So the lumpia is a spring roll. and it's spring a, roll, so yeah. This one's actually very long, almost like a cigar. It's very basic, thin yeah. and long. Yeah. When I went to Manila, I went to the Chinatown there. Uh -huh. And I had the big, big ones, you know, huge. Uh -huh. So this one is, I think that's the one that you're looking for. We have something like that, which is vegetable lumpia. Okay. And this one is a fresh vegetable lumpia. Oh. So it's big also. This is going to be the final one, the lechon. I'm, I'm still preparing it, but uh, I can show you. And like, we're not going to do a budo fight today? Not budo fight, yeah. <laughs> that's something very special they do in the Philippines. All of my friends have done a video. Yeah. It's like a huge thing, and then you, you throw food, So right? there's two versions of that. One is budo fight, which is, it came from PMA, which is the Philippine military in, in, in the Philippines. That wow. when they say budo fight, the first budo fight is actually a newspaper on the floor and the military they will put all the food there and they will scream budo fight then they have to grab what food they can grab because Maybe. that's it but the the traditional way for um for something like that is kamayan which is really a filipino piece whenever you're in the beach or in with the family you prepare all the food in the table and you eat in the banana leaf i'm gonna do it one day yeah yeah Ooh. you can do it here i can do it here we, we, so okay. I moved here when I was 14 and then Tolo Sulu, which is like the most southernmost part of the Philippines where they, um, you know, they have the houses on the stilts and stuff like that. And they, they, wow. they do like free diving for yeah. food and things like and, that. And that's so. where the kids learn how to, they, they learn how to swim before yes, they walk exactly. in this, in this area. Yes, yes. So that's where um, my mom is from. And then she moved to Manila to study for university. Of course, everybody does, right? Yes. And then, um, so here in i would say like here in um in florida there's a very small community but my dad is definitely one of the pillars of, of the community because he's very much involved in like filipino anything filipino or uh, involved like chamber of commerce um any festivals even we did an ube fest um in oh, wow. smorgasburg and winwood oh, wow. so he helped lead that as well so and moving here from um the philippines it's definitely a culture shock for me because obviously America is very different. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing that I notice about America versus the Philippines is that Americans are very wasteful. And in the Philippines, we have this kind of like, 
I guess, camaraderie with the environment and just kind of taking care of our own kind of culture. Mm -hmm. um, although the life is hard over there, it's still kind of like I would say everyone kind of is for each other, the collective kind of. Um, well, let me ask you, uh, do you speak uh, the main language? Yes, I speak Tagalog. Tagalog? Fluently, wow. um, and uh, yeah, I grew up there and spoke Tagalog. And so you were born in Manila? Yes, I was born in Manila. Got it. So yeah. I, I know there's uh, 7,600 islands, the uh, second largest island nation in the world after Indonesia, which is amazing. Yes. yes. Hola, hola, que tal? Hola, Muy bien. Eh, no, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to try the halo halo uh, yes. adobo. Yes. Adobo. Yes. That's their chicken. And yes. the language that's like a dialect of Spanish yes. in the Philippines? Yes. So there is a dialect called Chavacano. Um, in the Philippines, and it's mostly spoken in Zamboanga area, which is the southernmost, like one of the southernmost part islands in the Philippines, and it's one of the closest to Spanish. So if I, I actually saw a video on, like somewhere that somebody was speaking Chavacano to a person who has a Spanish from Spain, um, and they actually like understood each other. It's just different diction that oh. they use, but it's the same language almost. So the Spanish colonized the Philippines, I think, 300 years, 300 15, years. 16th century until like 1898, I think yes. that's the independence. Mm -hmm. um, and in that time, it wasn't just Spanish. The Spanish came from Mexico, from my understanding. So they have, it's a different type of Spanish that came over. It wasn't just the Spanish, it was like Mexico as well. Yes, there's also some people from Mexico um, that had come through. But the first Spanish people that, do, that did came here was Magellan, the Portuguese, like, um, I guess, conquistadors. conquistadors. Yeah, I mean, yes. they went to Macau, they went to Singapore, yes. they, they went all that area. Exactly, and then they told everybody, the, the Spain, that um, that they found the Philippines, and then the people from Spain come, I started coming over here. But actually, the Mexican people that had came over um, started around, like, 1700s. Wow. So, um, because of, it, there's still a good amount of, actually, um, um, connection between the Philippines and Mexico that not a lot of people know about and there's actually a sh kind of like a shrine somewhere in um, Bara Navidad in Mexico on the Pacific side and it's like their shrine of Philippines and Mexico um, connection that's because amazing that's where they um, kind of just I guess where the, the ships would go into and from the Philippines. So. And for my Miami peeps, never call a Filipino un chinito. They are <laughs> not Chinese, they are Philippines, obviously Asian, yes. but uh, but yes. yeah, we heard that a lot of people do this, so. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I mean, it's okay. I mean, that's, that's our brothers and sisters. I know, well. I know. <laughs> but uh, we're definitely more, I guess, like such like a mix of all cultures and yep. that shows in the food so chinese influence indonesian um also like the spanish influence we we, ha we put a lot of like sweet like sugar yeah flan and, yes we have flan obviously of um and so um the the indonesian um i guess um influence is really kind of that's where our roots are really from yep. like uh, we are mo we are muslim first as a country before we were catholic so um there's definitely that type of um history that not a lot of people talk about in the philippines that's the lumpia and this is the toron so what's the difference between toron and lumpia this is banana this is vegetables this oh. is going to be glazed with sugar later oh so tor toron is a it's a dessert it's a banana wrapped wrapped in a spring roll wow yeah this one is vegetables amazing yeah vegetables spring roll and so we're frying this one we're frying this we're frying the other authentic uh, lumpia mm -hmm. and we have this another uh, fresh lumpia so you have the three lumpia in the philippines and i think this is the inspiration or that was brought from chinese, the chinese, chinese correct yes. yeah. yeah yeah some so of the best the lumpias banana, of my we, life we fusion it you fusion it because we have a lot of banana in the philippines so we, and we glazed it in the in, in sugar and you also have a lot of manga right Man mango is uh, yeah but they call it manga fruit. yeah manga is the national fruit. so the philippines Lumpia, is like a mix of every culture so what does it mean to be a filipino because i know it's like the spanish came you have amerindians you have indonesians were there yeah. i mean it's, uh, so for you, what is the Filipino? Well, Filipino is really, um, you can say Filipino is very a humble person, which is we, we love to actually entertain people. And if you go to the Philippines, everybody's smiling. So, so that's uh, a difference, I guess, of a Filipino with, with regards to um, like ethnicity. We are very humble. We are very proud of being a Filipino and um, just helping other people also we're we're happy doing that like if you go to the philippines you lost your wallet or so 
you can still live and they will still feed you. Wow. Yeah. So from my understanding, the Filipinos are like the Latins of Asia because of the Spanish and the Mexican connection. Yes, us. Yeah, I think we were the first one that was colonized by, by Spanish in Asia. And actually Magellan was killed also in, in, uh, in the Philippines. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, he wow. was killed there by, by Lapu-Lapu, which is our Datu in, in the southern part. They colonized the, um, the Luzon and Visayas first. The last um, uh, thing that they're doing is the Mindanao, which is a lot of Muslims. He was killed there. Got it. Yeah. That's the south. That's the south, southern portion of the, the Philippines, which is uh, Luzon. Uh, uh, not Luzon, uh, Mindanao. I heard they cleaned it up, though. So I'll go there next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's good. It looks good, right? Yeah, yeah. Good food? Yeah, good food. Right here we have adobo, the national dish of the Philippines. You got pork, soy sauce, bay leaf, some other ingredients Vinegar. in there. Vinegar as well. Look at this beauty. Look at the fat, that layer. It's perfect. Love this, uh, this gravy on top. Just gotta keep simmering it. And then on the side, pork blood stew. It actually looks like uh, the, the ink from the squid ink in terms of like the, the darkness, almost like a purple. And you have a chili. Filipinos aren't like the rest of Southeast Asia. They're not super heavy with the chilies. You go to Thailand, some of these other countries, super hot. Philippines, it's more, I guess it's a milder spice, right? But they have spices, but way milder. So you were born in the Philippines, you left when you were 14. Is there a huge uh, difference between the generations in terms of Filipino Americans? Like let's say your father, for instance, that grew up over there yes. and had you over there. Yes, so definitely there is a big difference in the generations. Um, I would say the Philippines, the first generations, for example, just like me, um, we're very connected to our roots and very connected to the culture and the traditions. Um, I would say if you grew up in America and you were born in America as a Filipino, you are there's this sense of craving as well on the culture and looking and finding yourself in the culture because sometimes you're too American, and sometimes you're too Filipino or things like that in different settings. So. Growing up here, I think I have a good amount of both because I have the first-hand experience of the Philippines. Growing up there, we didn't grow up in a very rich family as well. We have, I have the most authentic experience growing up as well. So now here, coming through and um, growing up in the Philippines for the rest of my ad adolescent life, um, it's definitely become um, be making me proud of where I'm from more. Um, making me want to become kind of like a taste maker for my friends, putting them onto adobo and lechon and all those things. So it's really fun to be around with other cultures as well. Yeah. And I'll say one of the best things about the Philippines is everybody this age group speaks English. So if you're 30 or under, everybody speaks English and yep. everybody is connected on the phone. It exactly. is. It really is like one of the most connected countries. Yes, definitely. Yes, I actually, when I was grow growing up in the Philippines, I went to an international school. So I definitely had, you know, a good amount of exposure with the English language. But that's like a lot of the Filipinos as well. Even if you didn't go to international school, you will still get a good amount of education in America. I'm going to ask you guys, should I go to Boracay next time? Boracay. 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 <laughs> no, everybody's like, go to Boracay. You missed it. I'm oh like, yeah, God. man, I need to go. I need to go. The best island. The I most know. fun. I think, I think Mariah Carey, that's her favorite island. Yes, yeah, yes, she's I always heard. there. Well, I just see like paparazzi stuff, you know, <laughs> like it's amazing. I heard, yeah. It's, and then Shargao yeah. is like the new destination for surfers, kind of like the next Bali, but we don't like that, but. So a friend of mine bought a property there and no he way. built his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh tall, my gosh, yeah, that's tall. Amazing. Yes. I mean, I have a lot of friends. So Mike from uh, Making It Happen vlog, he's yes. there. Um, okay. Who else is there? Uh, Will Dosovich is huge there. Yes, I've seen uh, Los LeBlanc also blew up there. I mean, you got all these guys that just went to the Philippines and just like found a new home, you know? Yeah. But, you know, cost of living, super affordable. Yes. You know, like yes. I can go there right now and live for like $200 for the month. Mm -hmm. I can live and eat really good. <laughs> and if you're hungry and you don't have money, people will feed you. Exactly. exactly. I want to go for one of those like water festivals. There's so many festivals oh, too. Oh, there's so much. There's, right now, there's one called Sinulog, which is the biggest festival in Cebu. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like one of the main traditions there. It's like a big parade with like water being spilled at oh, you. That's awesome. <laughs> All that stuff. Yeah. We have to go with the GoPro though. Oh, this is an amazing broth, man. Vegetable, chicken, huh? Woo, can't touch that. Just burn my hand. <laughs> Look at that crunchy cabbage. Got the carrots, the green beans, and chicken. The broth smells fantastic. 
the aroma. So I have another question for you. How many languages do you speak? Uh, just two. Just two? <laughs> Tagalog and English. But my mom can speak Visaya, so I can understand her. There's 150 yes. languages in the Philippines, between yes. 120 and 170, they say. Yes. Tell me something in uh, Tagalog. Anong pangalan mo? What's your name? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Kumusta ka, which is... Um, how are you? Which oh, that sounds actually, very Spanish. Yes, it comes from Spanish, stems from como estas, and then we just have Filipino conjugations in there, como estaca. How about I love you? Mahal kita. <laughs> Mahal kita, Philippines. You know, one of the best things about the Filipinos are that they are like family people. When I got on the flight on Qatar Airways, so many of them going back because the, yeah. the crucial capital of the world is here. So many seamen there, and they'll get on that flight, go to Qatar, then go to Manila, and every time they'll be like, Oh, you know, and I, I can always understand the accent. I know yes. you're Filipino. Yes, exactly. There you go. The accent. The the Manny Pacquiao. Very, very the goat, strong the goat. accent. <laughs> exactly. Dude, butter. I didn't know there was butter in this cuisine. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> so this is a sizzler. Yeah, that's the sizzler. So it's like a fajita, but not. Right? So what's the name of this dish? I'm going to put it later. Oh, you're going to put it later? Yeah, I got it. So you're going to leave it on top? Wow. So that's like the sizzlers for the sisig. For the sisig? Okay, got it. So everything's going on top there? Yeah. No, inside. It's going to be on top of that, but wow. I have to hold it. So he just placed um, the pork in there. Oh, wow. That's this one? Some pepper? More calamansi. Wow, these noodles look amazing. What noodles are these over here? Panse. Panse. This panse noodles, so it's like a super thin, almost like glass noodles. But it looks a little sticky. You have, uh, is that pork or chicken? Chicken. Por chicken. chicken. I got some pork here, they gave me a little bit to try. What, what do you call these noodles? Because they look like glass Bihon. noodles. Rice. Bihon. Bihon. It's rice noodles. Rice noodles. So lots of cabbage in the cuisine. You notice yeah, almost every dish has cabbage. Dude, I just, I just had some of this. Like I, I, I can't stop. No, no puedo parar. Yeah, huh? Oh my god! That's a chon. Wow! Never seen it done like this. I mean, I've seen lechon. I've seen it like in Puerto Rico. I've seen it all over Miami. You have the huge pig, but this one is just phenomenal. This so is this just is the pork belly. just belly. And inside, it's stuffed with uh, what herbs? Uh, yes, lemongrass, onions, um, all scallions, all aromatics, amazing flavors in there, herbs wow. and spices. So definitely, it's gonna be crunchy, delicious. like like chicharrón right there. <laughs> yes, the crunchy. It's all about the skin for me. Yeah, it's yeah, the always. Skin for me. <laughs> egg, egg. Ah. Egg, egg. Oh wow, it's amazing. Oh, you cracked an egg on it? Egg on the top, yeah. But it's gonna cook like so. I'll tell you, this is probably gonna be my favorite. The sisig? <laughs> yeah. energy. Mm hmm. Yeah? So it's rice, um, rice paper. wrap, rice paper, rice paper. Wow, everything looks sane, man. We're the only one really doing all of this like authentic food here in South Florida. Yeah, you know, I've only, so I spent five days of my life in Manila and that was, that was all I got in terms of Filipino food ever. Uh -huh. um, so I don't really, I'm not as well versed, uh -huh. um, but I, you know, obviously with you guys, I've been learning more. Rice, um, rice paper. Wrap, rice paper, rice paper. So this one is not fried. No, it's fresh. Yeah. Just yeah, fresh. Like fresh sprinkles. Yeah. We put peanuts too. Wow, what a beautiful. Here we go, guys. What a feast. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. Lechon. Lechon. Wow. Oh, the crunch. Oh my god, the layer. 
chicharrón. Smoking and crunchy. Oh, wow. I thought the sisi was going to be number one. This is going to be number one. No, yeah, this is, I think, the... Dude, that was like so buttery. Like melted, man. So good. The fat. Wow, another piece here. And there's like a mix of spices in here. Yes, so that's a, a Cebu seasoning. Cebu seasoning? Yeah, it's in a part of the Philippines where they really cook authentic uh, lechon. Wow. So you have chicharro on the bottom, nice and crispy skin. Then you have black pepper, peppercorn. Better than the Philippines, man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Mmm. It's unreal. Yes. It's so juicy. What are you guys doing to me? What is this? This so, is nonstop. Here. Yes, I know. We're gonna eat a lot of food right now, and it's what are we doing? Practice Sorry. of champions. This is how they treat me in the Philippines. No, in Miami. In Miami. No, this is how they. It eat. will be in the Philippines as well. So it will be really fun to eat all of this food, wow. and it's just a regular day at 11 a.m. in Pembroke Pines. It's, it's going amazing. Down. I didn't know there was this many dishes. It's a oh, lot of dishes. Is. Yes, there is, and we want to keep um, a lot of the dishes in because there's a lot of Filipinos that are craving for something specific so if you're craving for something and then we don't have it then you know it's a bummer so we want to try to keep everyone happy here this is banana, a tapioca and jelly yeah. that's a banana leaf tea banana leaf tea mm -hmm. and this is a staple yes yes yeah every corner has that wow <laughs> mm. i love the jellies in the that, bottom that's our bubble tea wow Filipino bubble tea heavy on the sugar so how do you start this meal i mean there's so many dishes yeah, I don't even you know can start that. with an appetizer. Mm -hmm. Oh, which is the egg rolls. The egg uh, rolls? Yeah, that's our egg uh, spring roll. That's mm -hmm. vegetable. Mm -hmm. That's the one that you yes. have to take. Yeah. The lumpia also, which is the uh, the small lumpia. There you go. I can cut this in half. You can cut this in half? Perfect. There you go. Then, um, Just grab it. The, I'll get oh, the yeah. lumpia with me. I love this. Oh, and then you just dip amazing. it in the sauce. Dip it in right here? Yep. That's the vinegar sauce. Right there. Perfect. Here we go. It's been a while. Good? Mm hmm It has you need the sauce, right? <laughs> you need it. So it's vinegar and soy. Vinegar and soy is some garlic. Yeah. Love the crunch. The other one. Oh, that's the thin ones. So this is yeah. This is like An cigar appetizer. ones. This is the pork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one has a different sauce. Yeah, sweet chili. Sweet chili. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. They just made these. Yeah. Super hot. Easier to eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is Very the nice. top seller. Top seller? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it feels like, what's in here? Is this a mix of vegetables? Mm. I'll pour some of this on top. And in so terms of the sauce for that is this one. Always. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just want to. Oh, well, I just want to try. You want to try it? I do like the sauce. Yes. Yeah. The vinegar sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's vinegar soy. Soybeans is king in Asia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Soy. There's so many countries you go to, and it's all soy based. Yeah. So our food is really sour, mm -hmm. sweet, like salty. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of sweet. Everything savory. Yeah. Very savory. And somebody told me that Filipino food is the comfort food of Asia. Oh, is it? Because it's like so much different flavors. It's a little heavy as well. Mm -hmm. So I think I kind of agree with that. Definitely lots of seasonings and flavors well, in there. After the chone, you want to go to sleep. Like, yeah. that's like, <laughs> exactly. it's filling. I think we're going to go with the adobo. We have to try that's the national the dish. National dish, yeah. Look how beautiful that is. One piece is good? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we have to do one piece each because Anything more? It's like a lot of food. Yeah, it's too much. You have to pace yourself. Uh, I'm gonna get two pieces. Let me try this. Some rice flavors in there. Yeah, and one of the things that you'll notice in Filipino cuisine is that they don't use their hands or chopsticks. Um, they use utensils, but they use their hands for the budo fight. For the yes. Well, the typical really is in the house. Okay. It's, yeah. it's by hand. So. Yes. If you're like eating a fish or the rice, you yeah. know, breakfast, that's you eat with the hands, but. 
you know, usually it's spoon and fork, and we got that from the Americans. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, we don't use knife like that, actually. Yeah, so we don't use fork and knife, just spoon and fork. Spoon and fork. <laughs> spoon and fork. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you how, how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so we do that, and we use the, the corner of the spoon to actually cut. No need for a uh, knife. That's it. Oh, man, it's so tender. Get some rice, nice little bite. Oh, I love it, the peppercorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A nice glazy sauce on top. That, yeah. mm -hmm. that glaze. So that's soy, vinegar, and berry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the national dish. There's a special vinegar that you also use on that one. Okay. So it's a either coconut vinegar. Mm -hmm. There's two types. Another one is the sugar cane mm -hmm. coconut. Is this the spiciest because of the chili? The spiciest that we have is mm -hmm. Bicol Express. Mm -hmm. so it's, Bicol uh, Express. Yeah, so that's uh, pork um, in coconut milk mm. with, the, with the... With lots of chilies. Chilies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's all chilies. We have to yeah. try this, guys. So this one yeah. you have to mix. Yeah. Mix the whole thing? Yeah, mix everything. everything. Yep. Look at that. Let's mix the yolk, the egg white. Oh, it's so good. And it's still hot it's on a sizzler. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna get. Do you want some? Mm hmm. Yes, yeah. please. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get with the chili, guys. I have to yeah. try, but I'll give you first. That's so. the, the Thai chili. That is a Thai chili, this yeah. one? Mm. Well, that's spicy. See, I usually just do the chili straight, get a, like that nice heat in. Mm -hmm. oh, this looks amazing. And this one over here, I wanna pour it out. It's pork. Mixed with blood. Mm. Wow. That's when you, you, it's better rare you'll get it in South Florida. The best one? It's, it's better rare that you yeah. get it. Very rare. Yeah. Because yeah. not everyone is keen to try something with blood. Mm. So. so if you like blood mm. sausage, that's better. <laughs> you know, it's funny because it, it does have that, that element of the Murcia. Yeah, yeah. But no rice in it, so you add the rice. Yeah, yeah. But it tastes better. It tastes delicious. Yes. It, it, it reminds me of the, um, the squid ink. It, even the mm -hmm. texture does. We have that too. You we do have, have that have too. We have the squid ink uh, adobo. Adobo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Next time. We Next also time. have the, the jumbo squid calamari. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge seafood aspect that we haven't even my, dove into yet. Mm -hmm. My restaurant has the, the biggest selection in, in South Florida for Filipino dish. Oh, yes. I'm the only crazy one that offers it. You're the only crazy one. Yeah. No, that's great. I mean, we do need this. You know, that, that's one thing that when we were looking at the, you know, the demographics in terms of how many Filipinos are, not that many, more passing through because of the cruise ships. Mm -hmm. But in this area in particular, there's a lot. Yes. I have an opportunity actually of getting uh, the businesses on the, to take care of the cruise ship people. But I chose to actually introduce Filipino food in in, in, in South Florida inland. So I can cater for, to introduce it better for the non-Filipino also. Mm. So good. Small little, it's like bits of everything in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then you grab the Thai chili. Feel that one. Too hot? Woo! That is hot. <coughs> Might need water. <coughs> That's hot. Oh it's hot, dude. This little guy, the Thai chili. Milk. He needs milk. I know, really any milk, but <laughs> it's okay. We'll have the halo halo later. That'll fix me. I love the this one the most, just because I like that sauce, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the lechon. Give you the so barbecue epic. now. Mmm. -hmm. That's a Filipino barbecue out there. Yeah. So right here, Filipino barbecue. So, in Japan, it's chakatori. In yes. Indonesia, it's satay, uh, and then in the Philippines, it's just Filipino barbecue. Just barbecue. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. barbecue. And how many different, uh, do they use everything? Pork, chicken? Uh, well, if you go to Smorgasburg, mm -hmm. we have different version of barbecue, street food. Mm -hmm. yes. So from inners, the from, from intestines, um, intestines, pork and chicken. Intestines and head wow. good. of the chicken too. <laughs> head of chicken. Yeah. And then God. the feet of the chicken, and then we call it Adidas, Adidas. because it's yeah. feet. So chicken feet is what we call Adidas in the Philippines. What's so crazy? <laughs> it's it's so blood crazy. also, blood. 
blood? Yeah. Skewered. Oh. The so skewered it's blood. Like, uh, it's gonna, the, it's gonna be um, when you put the blood, it's gonna be chelated and it's gonna be like a jelly. So it like crystallizes. Then yeah, it, we put it on the skewers and barbecue it mm-hmm. and dip it in vinegar. So we call that Betamax because it's like square. It's like the what's it called? The DVD? The old the, DVD? The, the old DVD. Okay. So that's like Betamax. VCR. 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 The VCR. Yeah. Yeah, the so VCR. We almost forgot about VCR. that. I, I was born in that time. <laughs> and we have also the um, the pork intestine, the large intestine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then we call that Magwil. Magwil. Because it's like a it looks like a mug. Oh, wow. Wheel. Wow. Yeah. No chicken Mag hearts wheel. though. Chicken heart, yep. chicken liver, yeah, everything. Yeah, okay, yeah. but right. the authentic, really, on the street is the barbecue pork. Mm-hmm. No, it's amazing. I love we the sauce. We love on top. our pork. Yeah, mm-hmm. smoky, juicy as well. Yes, the yeah. food's amazing. Yeah, I'm yeah. super happy. Mm-hmm. It's a very different style from the rest of Southeast Asia. Uh, yes, our food is like really family style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not like the Americans that you order your own meal and that's like your bowl. own plate. Yeah, mm-hmm. we share. So for us, it's like we, we order food for the family. That's how we eat. That's why I'm having problem now on how will I serve this to the non-American. Is it like a bowl style or family style? But most of the most of them really want like their own meal. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not Filipino, but they... Uh, so Filipinos are always share. Yes. And that's why I make... I make a, like a, the pancit mm-hmm. with the lumpia, with the meat mm-hmm. together. Got yeah, it. So it's like a meal, one one meal. There you go. That's wow. uh, the national noodles. The national noodles. Mm-hmm. Every um, birthday or any birthday. celebration, we always have this, do that. the lumpia and the barbecue. Yes. Oh, yeah? Yes. That's so, three. So what do you call these noodles? Is this chow mein? No. It's no, it's bihon. Pancit. Pancit. It's pancit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, it's hard to get a small bite here. Trying. There you go. Oh, they're beautiful. So that's matched with the lumpia, barbecue, sometimes bread. <laughs> sometimes bread. Sometimes bread. We put a inside a Hawaiian roll mm-hmm. with that, and then uh, that's that's it. Try it that's with the lemon. Yeah, try it with that, and you'll see the difference. Man, I'm still feeling that chili. <laughs> that was a hot chili. Yeah. My gosh. Let's try it with lemon. So you also, you said you use a lot of lemongrass in the Philippines. We have lemongrass, that's inside the... Inside the inside lechon. Inside the lechon, mm-hmm. Well, these noodles, I mean, what am I doing here, bro? Mmm. <laughs> Way better with that. Yes. Mm-hmm. In the Philippines, it's calamansi. Calamansi. It's a, a, a small lime, but it's very strong. It has a, a, a distinct taste. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. a, it's like kind of like a key lime, but a little bit sweeter. Sm- smaller I've seen and it. like mm-hmm. sweeter. Mm-hmm. What do we have left? Kare kare. Kare kare and two ways. So we have two ways. So what's the difference here? This one's Authentic just plain. Authentic is beef only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With bok choy, the green beans, and the, we, we fry the eggplant. But inside you have, uh, it's original, it's really oxtail, but we have beef only. Thank you so much. Eggplant. Fried eggplant too. I haven't used a spoon as a knife in a long time. <laughs> I'll tell you, because all, all my Filipino friends are like, man, how come you haven't bought a place in Makati? I'm like, yeah. yo, yo, who's paying for that bill? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's expensive now. Well, Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, of course. Just leave it as an Airbnb. Here we go. Mm. So it's peanut. Yes. It's nice with the bok choy. Nice and crunchy. Yeah. Lots of moisture in there. So you have to get this, the shrimp paste. A little bit. A little, like too much? Uh, just a, yeah. yeah. Just a little. Yeah, just you know what? It does smell different. <laughs> it's very strong. Ooh, <laughs> it's actually intense. That one with the vegetables. Mm-hmm. It will taste like. It tastes like shrimp. Times two. <laughs> yeah, times two. I mean, it's a very pungent. Yes. It's like very, very intense. Yes. Uh-huh. But it's good. Shrimp. Shrimp paste is another thing they use all over Asia. Yeah. Everybody uses. Another one is just... Pork knuckle. Deep fried. So we have a Food's version amazing. of chicken of this also. All of this, we have chicken version. Chicken version. Yeah. And you also have some, some of them you have fish version. Yeah. There's the knuckle, right? All the collagen, the tendons. Yeah. Look at that. 
That's what makes it good for me. There you go. It's the tendons. Oh my god. Crispy skin also and dip it with the um, the sauce. This is beautiful. Look at this piece. This is a huge piece actually. Wow. So crispy. Yep. So right here, this is like chicharron. You have some meat, some fat, vinegar. Yes. So much more flavor. Yeah. I made a version of pork for the beef version of kare kare. So I made a crispy pata, which is a popular, really um, bar, bar food. Yes. So bar food, I made it to a kare kare. So you can actually eat it with rice, with the stew, with the vegetables. So it's yes. up to you how you want to eat it. Either you want it to be mm -hmm. fried only, or you want it with the vegetables mm -hmm. or with the sauce. Yeah. Yes. So I made like a, another version of that. Got it. Yeah, because all. F Bar food always fried because it soaks up the alcohol. Yes, know, yeah. exactly. it, it helps. It helps because if not, yes. you're like always drunk. Yeah. Speaking of, did you want to try a red horse? We have red horse. Red horse? I'll try a red horse. I'll try one. Yeah, okay, I'll try it. I'll try one. Red horse is their is their national beer. This is the red horse beer. The red horse is San Miguel. Come by, come by. Hmm. It's good beer. That's a stronger one. Yeah, it's eight percent, man. I didn't yeah. notice. Like, what the. This is 5%, this is the light one. The, that's the one you have that beats. This is the one you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we're gonna try the lechon. The best thing on the menu right now, we have very authentically um, seasoned and marinated by my dad, that's his recipe. So go ahead and try this. Um, this is the crispy skin, of course, from Mr. David. Yeah. <laughs> Has to be. Too much. And then... Um, oh, I love the cracking. All this about big the piece. That big piece? Yeah, get that. Dude. There you go. There you there go. You go. That's oh my all gosh. That. <laughs> no. Look at That's how beautiful this piece is. There you go. Better than Cuban and Chicharron. <laughs> Thank you. So now I made that as a. Whoa. Whenever I go to Whoa. any a pop up, mm -hmm. this is what I really show up. Yes. Yeah. So I showcase this with the uh, lechon, with the uh, bao, with taco, with um, like um, like a burrito style uh, wrap. Okay. We call it prechon, and with so. garlic rice. That four alone, it's like uh, it's crazy. Oh. Tao's tempe, right? The Same thing. The taco, yeah. Uh, yeah, taco. Yeah. The taco. We put lechon the in the sauce. With the flour oh, tortilla. taco. Yes. Taco. Oh, oh, I think yes. Because I think yeah. taho and tempe. Oh, taho is a taho is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, have that too. Topo. We have that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. so we have like most everything. But this is what I'm actually showcasing yeah. for Filipino. Oh, guys, look. Look you at the inside. see all the seasoning in there as well. What a monster. This feeds like 20 people. This is a big bite. Right here. Bro, the seasoning, the moistness. It's very unique. It's insane. Anthony Bourdain said, actually, this is the best lechon that they ever had. The, the Filipino the lechon? The Filipino lechon. Ooh. That's the seasoning that he tried. I mean, it's different. I, I love Cuban lechon, uh -huh. but this is something different. Uh -huh. Like that, that flavor inside, the lemongrass as well. We were in it's, Winwood it's also, a special event for Filipinos. And there's like Cubans that tried it, and that's exactly what they said. Yeah. I, he said, I'm Cuban, we have our own lechon, but this is way different. Wow. One more thing to try really quick and show you what this thing falls apart, bro. Yeah. This is another spring roll, yeah. but not fried. And you dip it or just pour it on top. Yeah. <gasps> Careful with the garlic. There's that, that's garlic. garlic. Yes, that's oh my garlic. god, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> mm. Super fresh. So that's like Thai. You know this garlic? It reminds me of Lebanon. Oh, yeah. Like it's so potent. Like yeah, yeah. it's too much actually. Something. We actually first. put peanuts on top. Oh, you do? Yeah, you we do. put peanuts on top. It's a great meal. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I know we have some desserts. Yeah. yeah. What's this made with the banana? So this is called turon. Turon. And it's basically a banana egg roll with um, kind of a, it's a specific type of banana. I think it's plantains, right? Yeah. With And then we put jackfruit inside. Oh, wow. And then we wrap it around the egg roll and caramelize it with some sugar as well. And this is dessert? Yes, that's dessert right there. 
crunchy. So it's like a delicious. savory sweet dessert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Please speak. <laughs> Add vanilla ice cream. Oh wow. Yeah. So sweet inside. Yeah. To me crunchy. Unique. Unique. I'll tell you. <laughs> you got me so full already. I'm like, I need a bed. This is the mochi? Yes. Guys, this is the mochi. It's uh, <laughs> the ube. glutinous ube? rice mm -hmm. and coconut milk. Glutinous rice, coconut milk. And topped with uh, coconut. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it's coconut um, shavings that are cooked. Yeah, right? so it's three different layers. Oh, it's so soft and cold. <gasps> it's sticky. Mmm. <laughs> That's unique too. The coconut on top, the bomb, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's off the chain. Yes. I'll take some of this home. <laughs> I know. That's an amazing yeah, mochi. That's a, really, really good. Because usually the mochi is like this, like the a little round. bowel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the insides where you feel it, but this one you feel the whole thing. Yeah, that one, yeah. I and mean, three different layers too. Three different layers. We have oh. jackfruit, vanilla, and um, opandan, and the ube on top. Yeah. Really, no, this, really this is like, yeah. I have a sweet tooth sometimes. <laughs> mm. I might call us the best mochi I've tried. Yes. Mm -hmm. I showcase this. Whenever we pop up, this is the only dessert that I have. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's all you need. Yeah. It's super jam-packed with sugar. Mm -hmm. So this is fandan. Fandan, uh -huh. This one? Biko. Biko. Uh -huh. So that's coconut uh, with, with rice. rice. Coconut milk with rice. This one? Puto. Puto. With cheese. Puto with cheese. So these are like little rice cakes with cheese. Mm -hmm. Cassava. Cassava. We call it peachy peachy. Like a cassava tarts, I guess you would say. Peachy peachy. So it's like a, another type of mochi, but cassava. That one is better. And that one has coconut uh, shavings on top. Yes. Uh, yeah, coconut makes always everything better. Yeah. So this is the mochi that you just tried. That's the mochi. That's the flan. This is the flan. Mm. Who has the best flan in the world? Latin America or the Philippines? <laughs> that, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Now. This one is. Uh, a different fruit, oh. or yam inside, with the sago. Oh my gosh! And it's uh, in coconut milk. Oh, that's all coconut milk. Yeah. That's why it's so sweet. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. And see? this one oh. is uh, the ube. Ube. So ube, the purple yam. Yeah. Very unique to the Philippines, correct? Because I, I don't think I've ever seen a purple yam anywhere else in the world. Look at that beautiful color, nice and purple. Mmm. It's almost like a rice pudding. It is, yeah. Mm. This is phenomenal. You gotta try this. You know, the, the yam, man, I would never notice that's yam. Like this in, uh, in India, but not purple. It's, oh. not, it's not purple. Isn't that beautiful. Yeah, it's also thicker than a rice porridge. Yeah. Well, it's, or a rice yeah, it's, pudding. It should be thicker. After. One more. Have my teeth. Enjoy it. <laughs> This is Halo Halo. Mix mix. Here we go. A mix of everything. That's purple yam ice cream. Purple yam ice cream. We have some jellies Jelly. in the back. Got some beans as well. Uh, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? So many jellies. So you have to, that's why it's Halo Halo. Before you eat it, you, you gotta have mix. to mix everything. Well, together. you should have told me, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, that's flan. That's flan. There's, flan. there's like, yeah, mix. So everything. you just put everything like, there. Yeah, we have banana. We have. And um, this thing melts quick. Yeah. That's the flan. Wow. Mmm. There's also. Yeah. Wow, the flan. Yeah, coconut. Nata. That's two type of coconut. The red and the green. This is coconut. Yeah. Nata. Nata. Nata de coco. Nata de coco. And, and palm, um, the other one is hard. <laughs> mm. I didn't know it was hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's super thick. Oh, wow. It's incredible how many jellies there are in here. That's banana. That's the ube again. Ube again. Well, I'll say this. This is the most unique, most mixed ice cream I've seen. Yeah. It's ice cream with like 20 different things inside. It has an uh, ice shave in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. It's 
a man in the barrel. No. Woo! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> do you have a Filipino flag? Yeah. Yeah, these? Wait, wait. Oh, it's a palm bro. Yeah. Where, oh, yeah, yeah, they use this to clean. Yeah, I've never seen that. No, I saw in the in the cleanest the cleanest uh, village in Asia they have this. They're cleaning all the streets with that shit. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. This, it looks like uh, the authentic Filipino in the Philippines, like your uh, uh, grocery store, like the mini mart. It, it, that's the look of uh, the mini mart in the Philippines. In Manila, I saw like 500 of these. Everywhere you go, there's one of these. Yeah, I mean it's quick, convenient. Tip in the store. This one, no credit. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I just watched the movie Wonka. It says no daydreaming. They charge you for that. I see the mini mart. So yeah, we have chicharron. Always chicharron. Different types. You have chicken also. Chicken skin chicharron. Oh wow. Yeah. Tastes better? It's um like high in cholesterol. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I, if I've you want to eating... die young, this one. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys eat like snacks. It's just, just like snacks. just yeah, keep going with it. Stuff. So we have like different stuff. So what? Filipino. It's all Filipino. All Filipino. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never seen almost anything yeah, it's here. Like hundred percent, like all Filipino. This is the cakes, the, the panda cakes. cakes. Look at that. Oh. oh yeah, the ube cake and the panda cake. This is ube. Is there like? I think it's. Is it? Yam. Is that, it's that's yam. yam. So it's like sweet potato, but it's purple. Purple. Yeah. Looks good. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to open a bag of these up. Look, ready? <laughs> so. You know, I told you they're, they're very low on spice in the Philippines, but they do have prawn crackers, spicy flavor. Mark Weens, where you at? So what we got over here, we got shrimp, we have shrimp paste. paste. And we have, um, this one is for the halo halo, all the mix that we put, like the-, the So it's all fruits. coconut gels. It's on the gels. It has like jackfruit, mm. it has coconut strip. Do you use durian as well? Um, some halo halo is a special halo halo. They put they do durian halo halo. I like it. People or don't shake. like it because the smell, yeah. but hey, it's a, it's a spiky fruit. Yeah. So even avocado, they we make it shake. Yeah. 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 They use a lot of avocado because the halo halo has avocado. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have some shrimp paste. Shrimp paste. We have more. This is literally Jello, guys. That's what it is, Jello. It's flavored. And then I look at this. This is you would think this is Spanish, man. Arroz caldo. And, and I saw this dish, this one, on a lot of lists, champorado. So this is chocolate rice porridge mix. Never tried that before. <laughs> puto. <laughs> you literally call it, hey, voy a comer un puto. <laughs> we have puto. That's nice, yeah. dude. And that one is our Filipino mochi. Oh, wow. Oh, we're going to have this. Yeah, this yeah, one yeah, I have yeah. to try. Yeah, yeah. I love but, mochi. But this one is the pre-mix. We make our own. You make your own? Yeah, we make our own. Mamacitas, mamacitas. Sinigang, it's a sour soup. <laughs> no, it's a huge influence in Spain. Oh, Mamacita. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious, man. You're killing me with this. You have hot and sour soup. The adobo, which is the national dish. Mm -hmm. this. And then this one, I saw this on the list as well. Ginatan. Ginatan mix. Ginatan. And yeah. what's ginatan? It's, it's a coconut milk. So coconut milk yeah, mixed it's with? It's stir fry in coconut milk. Perfect. Man, there's so many dishes to try. Then over here, just more noodles, lots of noodles. So these are all instant. Ube powder Ube. in the back. Oh, but look at these noodles, Canton noodles. These are like, my favorites are, are the thin ones, like this, this style, the yeah. glassy style. Like they're so thin. So there's two and they're, types. That's, they that's different, it. Like, like slippery. That one is Ube. Oh, this powder. one's Ube? That one is taro leaf, we call, we... Oh, taro leaf. Yeah, that's, that one we, we cook in coconut milk. And now I'm introducing it with uh, like a dip, like a oh, pita dip. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, because this is a very uh, green leaf, yeah, super yeah. green. Yeah. It's very healthy for you. Yeah. Like this is the important seasoning for us also, the the banana ketchup. <laughs> UFC. Jufran. Yeah. Ultimate fighting championship. <laughs> And we will not have adobo without this two uh, special. It's the soy sauce and the vinegar. Okay, so these are yeah. two main ingredients of the adobo. Of the adobo. And then the bay leaf. The bay leaf and the peppercorn. Got it. Yeah. So you don't just eat the food, but you can also buy the ingredients to make food at home. Mm -hmm. And everything is authentic. Everything comes from the Philippines. So you're probably one of the only places in that South Florida this, that, yes, has that has this. Yeah. Wow, amazing.
like the selection of food that we have some in in downtown that you said yeah yeah small ones they have like small ones and the the dish is already cooked so and this that one is like really um it's is this? um fish fermented fermented anchovies fish. yes you don't want to try that yeah. <laughs> and hey darren thank you so much anytime bro go to lutong pinoy Pembroke Pines, North Miami Beach, and we have a new location, Kanto, in uh, Lake Worth Beach. How many languages do you speak? Uh, just two. Tagalog and um, English. Tagalog and English. Yes. And, and then give me something in Tagalog. Uh, mahal kita, which is I love you, and sarap. Masarap is delicioso. And in terms of Filipinos and American, because you're f um, from the Philippines, yeah. and then your daughter obviously is like more like a first generation here. First generation. Well, what's the differences? Uh, I mean, what do you feel the differences? Is? See, being Philippines, if you grow up in the Philippines as a first generation here in, in, the, in, in um, the U.S., you'll really attach to your culture. And right now, I'm really, really attached to my culture. That's why I'm actually bringing Philippines here in the U.S. I'm trying to introduce some of the things that you will only get in the Philippines here in the U.S. too. And some, um, I have like other news... Uh, media in the Philippines that come here because I'm introducing different things also. Most people don't know this, Miami is the farthest city in the U.S. from Asia. Yes. It's the farthest. Today, it's 24 hours. Actually, it's uh, sometimes 48 hours for me to travel, or 36 hours to travel. So Miami, Qatar, 15, and then you add another like 9 or 10 to fly to Manila. Very, oh my yeah. gosh. It's very tiring. Next time. My man, oh, hey, much. thank you again. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. No Best mochi ever? Ever. It's a nice rice cake. It's too good. Actually, that's a good question. So Filipinos, I feel like within our hearts and in our culture where we come from, um, in our native um, like traditions, we're more Pacific Islander versus on the Asian community because um, even like our culture with the water and how we how we love seafood and how we tend to each other's islands and become basically a whole community of 7,000 islands. I think that's definitely more Pacific Islander of us versus Asian. Yeah. I know, I'm like, mm, David, I feel like you sh you sh we should have just added this on the lechon over here. Like, I think it would have be a good spice for this. David's handcrafted been here hot sauce by Luto Pinoy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fit for a king. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's it very nice meeting you. Salamat po. Salamat po. Yes, it's thank you in Filipino. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time. Next time we're going to do the fight. Yes, the Budo fight with the Kamayan style with your hands and the banana leaves. So it'll be amazing. Perfect. Thank you so much. And next we're going somewhere very special. This is Jollibee. Fast food. <laughs> Filipino fast food. It's like their McDonald's. There's one right here about five minute drive. Jollibee is the McDonald's of the Philippines. Founded in 1978 by Tony Tan, and they have 1,500 locations worldwide. They have in LA, in New York, here. First time I try this in many years. Tried in Manila. Everybody does the f first time trying Jollibee. Look at the B right here. Iconic. Like the B movie, right? Hello. How are you? How's everything? Good? Yeah. Yeah? So, I haven't had Jollibee in a long time, since Manila. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? I could recommend you guys our best seller chickens over here. It's good with the gravy that we have. Chicken and gravy? Yeah. And how about the spaghetti? Somebody recommended I try the spaghetti. Yeah, um, it's quite different spaghetti because it's sweet. It's sweet? Yeah, because it's a unique or distinct spaghetti of the Filipinos. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Italian are sour, right? Spaghetti. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in the Philippines, we have a sweet spaghetti style of spaghetti. And where are you from? I'm from Philippines. But where in the Philippines? Which island? Uh, Manila. Oh, you're from Manila? Yeah. So you speak Telugu? Telugu. Yeah, I speak Tagalog. Tagalog. Yeah. Tell me something in Tagalog. Um, Punta po kayo sa Jollibee to try our best-seller chicken spot. <laughs> Thank you. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I'm quite shy. <laughs> is everybody from the Philippines? Everybody? It's uh, a mix. Yes, my supervisor is also, she's also from the Philippines, and Nanay Ruby and Ate Deborah, and also our Fry Master also come from the Philippines. So it's oh, yeah. really authentic oh, Philippine adventure. But by the way, <laughs> see, if you go to any other fast food place in America, they'll be like, get the camera, stop. These guys are awesome. I love yeah. it. I love it. Filipinos always let me film, so it's good. Yeah, Filipinos. So you must try our dishes over here. Okay, yeah. so I'll try, we'll get the spaghetti. 
And um, then uh, and then we'll also get what you said, the the famous fried chicken? Yes, sir. How many pieces of chicken do you like? To be honest, uh, what is the three? Uh, you can choose from one, two, or three pieces of chicken. Let's just get three. Three? Yeah. You want it with a drink, sir? No, I'm good. Uh, okay, three pieces of chicken. And spaghetti. And you want a side of spaghetti, right? Yes, correct. Okay. There's spaghetti right here. Yeah. Anything more else, guys? And that's it. Okay. That would be $1.69, sir. Thank you so much. And how long have you been in Miami? Uh, I've been in um, Miami since June 2023. Okay. I just migrated from the Philippines. You just migrated? Yeah. So, so, so what is it like being over here? Because you just got here. It's good. That's good? It's like Philippines as well because the temperature is tropical. Like the Sorry. Philippines, it's also sunny. There's no winter here in Florida. That's why you guys like it here. Yeah. Sir, can you please uh, try it one more time? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Sir, we'll just call your number if it's ready, okay? Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, well, they also have, what is this? Look at that. Pies, they have a bunch of pies. Yes, they have sir. chicken joint um, buckets. I recommend also, sir, the pies that we have. Um, we have the coconut and the peach mango pie, but if you want something to recommend, I could, I'm, I prefer much the peach mango pie. It's really good with the chickens and spaghetti. I mean, I'll tell you, I already ate too much food today in Lutong, Pinoy. Okay. We, we ate a lot of food, okay. a lot of your food. Yeah. Adobe, sisig, oh, sisig. Yeah. The best. It's really good. Sisig is with the um, toppings of eggs, right? Yeah. It's really good. With the calamansi and toyo. Yeah. You're the best. Yeah. She's so I, kind. I'm a legit So bad. <laughs> You're a big foodie? Yeah. Oh, great. Thank well, I can't wait to try it. This is going to be a unique experience. Oh, wow. Almost done? Yeah. And so right here we have a $25 anniversary deals. Huge chicken bucket. They're competing with KFC, of course. You got the spaghetti with chicken on the side and you have chicken sandwiches. Your order, guys. Enjoy your meal. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. This is going to be great. Yeah. Enjoy your food. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat po. I got something. I got something. All right. Let's see here. Hello. Hello. Hey. How you doing? You like Jollibee? Oh yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Where are you from? Philippines. Where in the Philippines? Yeah. Mindanao. Mindanao. Oh, so Mindanao, we heard of that. That's in the south, correct? Yeah. So that, that was the gangster city. No, I'm joking. <laughs> that's where the temple came from. Yeah, that's where, that's where everything happened, I've heard. So total price, $12.79 for three pieces of chicken and spaghetti. Not bad. The fried chicken. Oh wow, it smells incredible. And then over here, we have a spaghetti. To be honest, I've never eaten spaghetti at a fast food joint, but this is the first. We got cheese on top, tomato, spaghetti. This is gonna be hard to satisfy me, dude. I'm Italian. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. Mm. You know what? It's actually very interesting. It's sweet spaghetti. Like a, it's like, almost like they put caramel in there or something, man. Lots of sugar for sure. Diving straight into the chicken now. Look at that. So juicy. <laughs> oh my God, it's scorching, guys. <sighs> Gotta be careful here. Oh. So juicy. Oh. <sighs> It's too hot. Don't burn yourself. No, it's too hot, bro. It's too hot. Don't worry. Leave I, I like this though, the skin. Also, you should definitely try this. Everything's scorching though. Wow. And right here we have the gravy. This is for the chicken. Oh wow. Another super hot. So I'm just gonna grab some of this. Stip it. Zap. Oh yeah, it's like a mushroom gravy. Actually super tasty. Yeah, soak up all this. I have no meat in here, this is just crunchy skin. Hey Jolly, pretty good. Doesn't be KFC though. Oh, you're Filipino. Yeah, cause I, I tried it in Manila in 2017 and then uh, it was good, it was good. Yeah, I also tried it in New York many years ago, three years ago. 
Yeah. yeah. It tastes different back home, though. I'm sure it does. Always does. The spaghetti is weird. The oh, sweet, yeah. sweet. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm Italian, so this is like an insult. Yeah. It's like, it's like, what are we doing here? What are we <laughs> No, the chicken's good. Yeah, it's just everything's too scorching, you know? This is, this is David. Yeah. David. Uh, I'm David. I'll show you. I'll show you. Here. I, I've been to Manila. Yeah, yeah. One time. Manila's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I stay right here. No worries. No trespassing. No trespassing. So your name is Joe? Yes, sir. And where are you from? Manila? Actually, Pampanga. Pampanga. No, I don't know it. This is 7,400 islands, I think, so yes, <laughs> it's hard. Yes, yeah, so it's, yeah, here we go. Yeah, and it, how many islands there are? Yeah, it's the yeah, second largest in the world after Indonesia. So yes. here we go. And uh, has everybody been here since the beginning? or Because like, I know this one's opened three years ago now, I think 2021. Yes, everybody, it'll be three years, sir. Three years? But how long have you been, like in the States? Just, here? Yeah. Oh, since 2014. 2014? Okay. So you like it in America compared to the Philippines? Or? Well, no, sir. Of course not. Of course not. But for the, for the work, so Of course, yeah, of course. I, I need to adapt. I know, I know. And but Yeah, how is the food so far, sir? The food's good, you know. The spaghetti was uh, strange. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. sweet. So what's it? Is it cinnamon or, or sugar? No, sir, or just, it's uh, just because it's a Filipino-style spaghetti. Okay. So our spaghetti is sweet. Because it's a banana ketchup that we use. Banana ketchup. It's, it's not a. It's not a tomato. Got so it. It's not a tomato ketchup. It's banana. Yeah, cause I was thinking. I was like, why is it? But also, you guys gave it to me so hot. I like burned my gums. Ah, good. No, but, but in Asia, they like hot. Everything yes, hot, 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 hot. Yes, we do. What's your name? Deborah. Deborah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I love about Filipinos? You guys are so friendly. It's uh, like ah. You. Where is she? Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. But what's your real name? Ruby. Ruby's a real name, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ruby, del <laughs> Ruby del Mundo. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? Yes. How many languages do you speak? Well, in our dialect, I speak like three dialect, and then here English, and then the Spanish. Oh wow! So yeah, so remember, the Philippines are like the Latins of Asia, you know? So it's amazing how that works. And where are you from? What island? Philippines. But what island? What island? Uh, Leyte. Leyte. Different language than the Yeah, like we here, we have like different languages. So do you speak Telugu and then? Tagalog. Tagalog. Ilocano, Kapangkaman, and then the Tagalog. Wow. And the Visaya also. She, she speaks. The Visaya. Visaya. That's the Visaya. Wow. Yeah, because there's 150 languages roughly yes. in the Philippines. It's amazing. This, this is really an experience country, coming here. But we have a yeah, and it's so far, so far. To get there, 24 hours. Uh, oh. Yeah. So, where have you been, sir? Hey, in, in the Philippines. I just went to Manila. I spent five days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next time, Boracay, Palawan, and Mindalo. Like, there's it's so many places to go. Yeah. It's, it's forever. I'm glad you came here. And I'm glad you like the food. And I hope to see you again. Thank you. Single. She's single? Yeah. I'm single too. Oh, single too. Good, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> you, she sold her off. What is happening? Yeah. My God. She sold me. <laughs> oh, so much. So much. So much. You guys are so kind. Thank you so much. Thank you. We love Filipinos. Thank you. We love it. Thank you. Thank you. It was amazing. Yeah. Jollibee. Definitely try it. The spaghetti. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> And come, back, and come back again for her soon. I, I will, I will. <laughs> That's the Philippines in Miami. Peace.